Hi Sag, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your weekly love reading for April 14th to the 20th. I'm using the Light Sears Tarot by Chrissy and Donnelly today and I'm going to pull eight cards from here followed by one or two love oracle cards. I'll tell you the significance of the placements as I go but let me just give this a little bit more of a shuffle and then I'll cut the deck. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus, please. Thank you so much for April 14th to the 20th. All right, we got one card that wants to pop out. Putting in the work, being committed. Um, this could be being really busy at work, being very productive, and in love and romance, being the bigger person, turning the other cheek, making things work, and being determined to make it work. Six of Swords is leaving a toxic situation, possibly going on a trip. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Another card just popped out. Judgment, a decision that you've made, um, a realization, the aha moment, an epiphany, some big life decision, some realization that you've come to. On the bottom, four of pentacles. And love and romance, that could be about, you know, keeping your options open. All right. But not being open really to true love like holding yourself closed off kind of it's a card of miserliness or greed and sometimes in love and romance that can translate to <clears throat> having a roaming eye okay being in something and still like checking out other things all right so this is for sag for sagittarius sun moon rising in venus for april 14th to the 20th please what does sagittarius someone rising in venus need to know in love and romance for april 14th to the 20th thank you so much all right let's cut the deck first card is you sag eight of swords the other card is your love interest ace of swords sorry this is two of swords the situation between you two is the hangman <clears throat> The outcome is the world. How you see them is the king of wands. How they see you is the nine of wands. Your challenger obstacle is the five of swords. Their challenger obstacle is the emperor. On the bottom of the deck, the nine of swords. So right away I see this is quite the toxic energies here, okay? Like for you, two of swords is saying that you <clears throat> are in a position of you know power in the way that you have a decision to make about where this is going to go um you have the choice the ball is in your court okay and until you make a choice things aren't going to move forward it's showing that you're being t pulled in two different directions here with the two of swords stalemate okay and so sometimes there's a stuckness because you have to make a choice you're not moving forward because you haven't chosen the ace of swords is the card representing your love interest and that means that they're having clarity they have seen things clearly it's a card of speaking up speaking your truth letting the other person know how you feel getting things off your chest it could be about sharp speech cutting someone off um the key words to this card would be truth victory clarity okay um, the situation between you two is the hanged man. This is a card of sacrifice and being stuck. Someone sticking in something because it benefits the other person. So there's that spiritual element there of being generous in that way because you're giving of yourself. It's like staying in a relationship that's not working for you, but you know that it would hurt the other person if you left at that moment. Sometimes you pick a better time out of compassion to leave because you know that they're going to be a little bit stronger then. Um, it's that kind of a thing, okay? The outcome is the world, another card of something ending. Okay, so the world card is showing a cycle that comes to an end. It's the final card in the major arcana. So the world card is like it's it's a process, okay? Just like you go to school, you graduate, you're pregnant, you have a baby. There's a natural next step that comes. So the outcome here is showing that this is going to come to an ending. This will be the end of this cycle between you two, okay? Um, how you see them is the king of wands. You see them as someone who's extremely passionate, charming, exciting to be around, um, very good at manifesting, salt of the earth type person, inspiring, okay? Uh, how they see you is nine of wands. They see you as someone who's guarded. It's the wounded warrior card. You've been hurt before and so you're blocking. Um, 
having your guard up, being vigilant, feeling like love and romance or somebody's affections or whatever. It's almost like a, a, this kind of feeling of being threatened, um, having your guard up, right? And so it's not being open and receptive. It's like because of a past hurt, just not over it and still like, you know, having your guard up and being distrustful. Your challenge or obstacle is the five of swords. And this five of swords energy is distrust. It's this card of defeat, um, bullying, abuse of power, sometimes disgrace. Um, something that was done that was shady. Um, if in love and romance, wanting an ap apology or, or, or if you're trying to get an apology, like the apology not being given, like just not being forgiving. Um, so if they did something, okay, if they're the ones who did something, the challenge or obstacle could be that five of swords is like, you don't want to forgive and you want to like really rub salt in those wounds and be like, I'll never get over this. I'll always hold this against you. And I'm going to turn, you know, everybody else against you too type of deal. Okay. Like five of swords is where you hold all the power. It's winning at all costs. Okay. And, and look at how this person looks like they feel pretty shitty about what's happened. So this is a challenge or obstacle for you. Okay. This five of swords, it could be this kind of, um, abuse of power perhaps, or not being forgiving. Okay. And it affects them a lot. Okay. So their challenge or obstacle is the emperor. Now in the lower polarity as a challenge, the emperor is somebody who they're old fashioned. They like to court. They're uh, powerful. They have authority. It could be a Aries or a Scorpio, Mars energy, powerful male energy here. This is a leader. Um, now in a lower polarity, it could be someone who's controlling, um, despotic, maybe abuse of power as well. Okay. Um, so this is what it looks like at the bottom of the deck. You got nine of swords being afraid, some kind of cruelty. Like this is a card of cruelty. This is a card of cruelty. Okay. This is a card of being hurt and then being distrustful and having your guard up. So that's what it looks like. Okay. So let's pull some love Oracle cards. Nine of swords also implies that, you know, you're, it's messing with your sleep, your health, feeling cornered. Okay, there it is. Karma. It's a karmic situation between you two. On the bottom, long distance. So long distance can speak to someone <laughs> just with the world as well. It could speak to long distance, like travel and someone being, you know, far away. But let's read these two. So the creator says to use these car um, intuitively, but there's a few words of description here. Karma and long distance. It's not in alphabetical order. So long distance came first. It says separation due to distance, communication from over the seas, online romance, dating online, cruise ships, travel, romance through travel, meeting someone overseas or who is foreign. Dating tip. Ask yourself, what have I got to lose? What would I gain by choosing this? And then karma. Karma, let's see, where is that? All things have a higher purpose, are meant to be, things are written in the stars, allow destiny to take its course. Sometimes events don't go as planned. Okay, so could be long distance as a factor here, and that's where the hangman is playing a role. It could be about feeling stuck, like Nothing's moving forward, being stuck in stasis here. Nothing, there's nothing to do. Okay. Now this could be because of what's going on in the world. If it's a long distance thing, you can't get to each other, but you know, you look like you're being pulled in two different directions and your challenge here, five of swords, long distance relationship. If that's what it is, it's difficult because you never know what the other person is doing. And there's a whole bunch of mistrust and all that kind of jazz. And it could be like, you know, if they have been keeping their options open, like you found out about it and you're not happy, you won't forgive it. 
Um, so let's see. I'm going to pull one more Love Oracle card. This is the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. Can we get one more card, please? For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For April 14th to the 20th, please. Thank you. This is for Sag. For April 14th to the 20th. There we go. Wedding. So before you get excited, this situation involves marriage. It says right on the bottom, religious factors. There it is. Okay, so wedding is saying that if you are single and you're wondering, will I ever get married? It's saying, yes, you will get married. If you are married, it could imply that maybe you will get a divorce. If you're engaged, it's saying you'll get married. Um, and also it's saying that if you don't want to have anything to do with marriages thus far, it's because your parents' marriage has affected you in that way. Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This is saying that, first of all, it could be cultural differences, religious differences, spiritual differences, whatever it is, racial differences, um, financial, socioeconomic differences. That is what is causing obstacles here. Here it's saying religious factors and it's saying also with that, sometimes people might not belong to your religion or to your background, but doesn't mean that they don't have, you know, morals or beliefs or some kind of spirituality of their own. Um, that could be similar to the values that you have is just not under the same label type thing. Like that's what they're saying here with the religious factors to keep an open mind in that way and judge them based on their character. Now, wedding, I'll read it to you just because that just makes people kind of triggered. Okay. So I don't want you to think that I am poo pooing it. You drew this card because of an upcoming wedding, your own or someone else's. It comes to you because marriage plays a role in the answer to your question. For some people, this card could be a validation that you will get married and asks you to keep the faith and continue enjoying your life without worry about your future marital status. For others, this card signals that you'll meet a significant other at an upcoming wedding or experience something there that will lead to a new romance for you. It can also represent your parents' marriage and the way it affected your feelings and beliefs about relationships. In a few cases, this card asks you to look at your present and past marriages and review your feelings with the intention of healing your heart and your relationship. Perhaps it's time to enlist a marital counselor to help you both sort out how you feel. And sometimes this card can signal the end of a marriage, in which case the angels support everyone involved as you come to an understanding about the experience and renew your heart's willingness to love. So, Sag, uh, I feel like this is what is going on here. Um, could be a breakup of a marriage. It could be about having your parents' wet marriage really like doing a number on you. Um, they see you as being guarded and it's showing a temporary separation or a separation with long distance. Okay. Um, and also differences here with religion, possibly playing a factor, cultural differences playing a factor here. So, um, with the world card, if it's not, you know, the cycle coming to an end with the world, the last of the major arcana, I could speak to long distance as well. So at, you know, at, best it looks like it could be a temporary separation at worst it could be like the end of this finally so that was your reading Sagittarius for the 14th to the 20th you know this is not the end all be all it could change um I'll have your next week's readings out after these thank you for watching take care all the best and I'll talk to you guys soon bye for now